Can you really fall in love with someone you've never met? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to tackle a topic that I think many of us have wondered about at some point. Can you truly fall in love with someone you've never met in person? I wanted to make this video because I recently went through an experience where I started developing very strong feelings for someone I met online. We connected deeply and would talk for hours each day, but had never met up because we lived in different states. I was surprised to find myself really falling for this person, which made me start questioning, is it actually possible to fall in love with someone you've only interacted with online? To get to the bottom of this, I did a bunch of research on psychology, attachment theory, and long distance relationships. I also talked to relationship experts for their input. In this video, I'll share what I learned about whether romantic love can genuinely develop before two people have met in person. Some key points. The different factors involved in falling in love, emotional connection, physical slash sexual attraction, fantasy projection, how online communication allows emotional intimacy to develop quickly through sharing vulnerabilities, dreams, etc. The role fantasizing about the future plays in long-distance love, imagining your life together, dangers of idealizing someone you haven't met overlooking red flags, incompatibilities, attachment theory forming a mental attachment to the other person, eventually physical intimacy usually becomes important for deepening the bond, tips for transitioning the relationship from online to offline successfully, so let's dive in. Body. Falling in love is complicated, it involves a mix of emotional connection, physical attraction, and fantasy projection. When two people haven't met yet, the physical chemistry part is missing, but emotional intimacy can definitely develop over long distance through daily communication. You can get to know someone extremely well over the phone or video chat when you open up and are vulnerable with each other. You talk about your childhoods, dreams and fears, what you value most in life. Sharing intimate details like that creates a strong bond. Research shows that self-disclosure promotes closeness in relationships. So in a long-distance scenario, you cultivate emotional intimacy by revealing your innermost self to each other. And when you have that depth of connection with someone, you start to fantasize about a future together. Your brain gets active envisioning your life as a couple going on dates, traveling together, one day maybe even getting married. According to psychology, when you construct detailed mental images about the future with someone, it strengthens your emotional attachment to them. So while the person is still a fantasy in your mind, imagining a future can make them feel more real, more a part of your life. And this fantasy element is a big part of what fuels falling in love remotely. Now the danger here is that it's very easy to idealize someone you've never met. You fill in the gaps about who they are with your own projections. Without experiencing someone's physical presence, bad habits, quirks, etc. Firsthand, it's harder to get a well-rounded sense of their personality. You may overlook red flags and compatibility issues when caught up in the fantasy of who you imagine them to be. Then if you finally meet them in person, reality can shatter the illusion. Another key point, while emotional intimacy may develop without physical proximity, physical and sexual attraction are still super important ingredients for deep romantic love long term. The vulnerability and passion of physical intimacy bonds couples on a whole other level. So while you may be able to fall in love remotely in a certain sense, most experts say it's difficult to have that deep soulmate connection when you haven't experienced physical chemistry with the person. There's even some attachment theory research showing people have four main styles of emotional attachment, secure, anxious, avoidant, etc. Your attachment style with someone can't fully form until you've spent real time together. So in summary, yes. To some degree, you can fall in love with someone you haven't met yet. 
especially when you have intimate conversations daily. But it's an incomplete love until you know if you have physical chemistry and can experience each other's physical presence. If you do meet someone special online that you seem to have an amazing connection with, here are some tips for transitioning the relationship from online to offline successfully. Take it slowly, don't rush to meet up or make big commitments too quickly. Give yourselves time to get to know each other deeply first. Be honest about who you really are. Don't try to present and filtered or fake version of yourself. Authenticity will serve you well in the long run. Pay attention to any discomfort or red flags. Don't ignore negative gut feelings just because you're so excited. Make sure you deal with any issues head on. Have realistic expectations. Understand that the real person will have flaws you haven't seen yet. We all show our best selves initially. Focus on emotional intimacy before physical intimacy. Build a foundation of closeness that isn't just surface level attraction that will set you up for success. Ease into physical touch slash intimacy. When you meet, don't rush into sexual activity until you've built comfort and trust being together in person. Let things progress organically. Appreciate the transition period. Realize it will take time to integrate your online connection with your real world relationship. Adjusting to each other offline is a process. Communicate your needs clearly, speak up about anything that feels off or anything you need more of once you do meet. Maintain openness. Have fun getting to know each other. Enjoy learning about each other in person. Don't forget to laugh. Be playful. Make memories. Trust your gut if at any point the relationship just doesn't feel right after you meet. Honor those feelings. Don't ignore serious doubts just because of your emotional investment. So in closing, I think there's a lot of gray area when it comes to falling in love remotely. Yes, deep feelings can absolutely start to develop before meeting someone thanks to emotional bonding and fantasy. But it's wise to stay cautious until you see if those feelings translate into the real world. Stay tuned for more videos soon about navigating online dating and modern romance. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Conclusion To wrap up, I think the answer to whether you can fall in love with someone you've never met in person is it's complicated. Some key takeaways. Emotional intimacy can definitely grow over distance from daily communication. Fantasizing about a future together strengthens feelings of attachment, but it's easier to idealize someone you don't know fully Physical slash sexual attraction is still crucial for deep romantic love long term. Meeting in person brings a reality check to see if you're truly compatible. If you do meet someone amazing online, go slowly and focus on emotional bonds first. Make sure you have aligned expectations when transitioning to offline. So that covers my thoughts on this fascinating topic. Let me know in the comments if you have any personal experiences or insights to share. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified of more videos. Thanks so much for watching.